Hey everybody, we are on the road again, and this is our second shortest trip ever distance-wise. Since we've had Minitini the trailer, we are only going 22 miles away from home, just north to Hollywood, Florida, not California, Florida. Check out the Miami International Airport to the left. We take the 112 East, also known as the Airport Expressway. Eventually, we merge into the infamous I-95. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. It is almost night time by the time we arrive. I was supposed to turn here on 441, but I guess I'll have to make a U-turn. It is not the best located KOA, perhaps, and amenities-wise is not much more than a glorified parking lot, really, with hookups, but we got a great deal on it. And don't pay attention to the bad reviews about the neighborhood. Yeah, it looks a little shady as you arrive, and the spaces are tight, and State Route 441 can be a little noisy, but the campground is very clean, and as I always say, it is what it is. You may notice that a lot of the RVs here are rentals, and at first I thought, mm, that's odd. Then I realized that we are really close to the Cruz America rental center here, and it makes sense to spend the last night before returning the RV here, you know, dump your tanks. And well, yeah, maybe the area is a little rough at night. Yep, there's definitely something going on. And here we are. It is morning in Hollywood, Florida. Good morning. We are parked on site number one in this area facing State Route 441 among all these European tourists on rental rigs. There are also some fifth wheels and trailers and some very old and dilapidated rigs as well. Our European neighbors, very nice people. Some folks from Switzerland even gave us some groceries because they were flying back home and couldn't take them. We do feel a little exposed, though, being here on the corner of the campground. Well, let's drive towards the ocean. I think we should get into this big parking garage right here. Historic Hollywood Beach Resort. The resort dates back to 1925, originally opened by Joseph Young, founder of the city. And nowadays it has a shopping mall on the ground level and it does look a little rundown, but I believe it is undergoing renovation, so we'll see. And this is the famous Hollywood Boardwalk. It is still kind of early in the morning, around 10 a.m., so as you can see, there are not many people on the beach yet. And I believe we are walking on the bike lane. Let's move. Yeah, we are definitely too early for a change, and the beach looks eerily empty. Well, there are some early risers by the water. As you can see, some of the businesses are starting to open up. Here we have the almost brand new Margaritaville Resort. 
And it is still definitely too early for the Floridays Airstream Cafe. Mmm, they have frozen drinks. And there's a surfing simulator. This is all very nice, this boardwalk. I had never actually been here before. How odd. The water is looking very inviting, so... Let's head out that way. This looks like a nice enough spot. The water is still a little cold by Florida standards this early in the morning, around 10.30, and this time of the year, mid-May, but it's really just the first impression. We spend a good hour and a half frolicking in the water and catching some rays. Then a large school of fish comes to visit us. All right, let's get out of the water. Taking a break, sitting at a bench. It is such a beautiful day, although it is supposed to rain in the afternoon. We are getting kind of hungry, so let's find something to eat. Let me take advantage of this fountain here and clean the camera with some fresh water. Well, as you can see, it's a beautiful day here in Hollywood Beach. Very nice. I think uh, we are going to go for a drink and some lunch now. Mm, decisions, decisions. So many choices. We decide to go for a drink first, here at the Lone Palm Beach Bar, which is halfway inside and halfway outside the Margaritaville Resort. We get, well, a margarita, which is actually outstanding. I am actually glad the Hollywood boardwalk still retains a little bit of that old feel. Some of it looks kind of the way Miami Beach looked 20 or 25 years ago. We finally make up our minds and decide to eat at this Mexican restaurant called Mamacitas. The quesadillas and the queso fundido are super tasty. Although, hmm, the margarita leaves a little to be desired. It tastes kind of artificial. Maybe we're spoiled by the previous margarita, who knows. We hit this sticky bar which, despite its name, has a Peruvian menu and guess what? Peruvian beer, who'd have thunk it? Well, that certainly hit the right spot. I think we're gonna take a break, we're going back to the, to the RV. Yeah, we are kind of pooped. Uh, so let's take a break, and a nap too, perhaps.
In a quarter mile, slight left onto Polk Street. You've arrived. And there's Minitini, all by itself. After a two-hour nap, we decide to go out again and check out the downtown area. Parking is free. The downtown area is pretty much just these two blocks lined up with stores, bars, and restaurants, and it actually becomes very lively later in the day and in the evening. Here's Spice Restaurant. I sang here quite a few times back in 2009. By the end of the two and a half block strip, we encounter the youngest circle. And here's a bust of Joseph Young, the founder of the city. He originally named the town Hollywood by the Sea in the early 1920s, hoping that it would become the motion picture mecca of the East. So he envisioned this tropical paradise with golf courses, lakes, luxury hotels, a grand avenue called Hollywood Boulevard. The only variable he didn't count on was the hurricanes. And in 1926, the whole area was decimated by one of the most devastating hurricanes of the century. Well, eventually the city recuperated, obviously, but it never became what Young had originally envisioned. Not to that scale, anyways. Okay, let's continue due east, towards the ocean. Let's explore a little more, going around Young Circle once again, where it seems they had some kind of wine tasting event earlier. And this is Hollywood Boulevard, and that White House to the left is none other than Joseph Young's mansion, built in the Mediterranean style around 1921. And we are back, going over the Intercoastal Bridge by the historic Hollywood Beach Resort, and we're going to take A1A North. That happening place there to the left is the 5 o'clock somewhere bar and grill, a part of the Margaritaville Resort. As we pass by the end of the boardwalk, we enter Hollywood North Beach Park and the eastern tip of the city of Dania Beach. And there's this famous bar here to the left we wanted to go to called Jimbo's, but it is too crowded and we are not that hungry yet anyways. We continue north, going into John U. Lloyd Beach State Park, which is about to close anyways but we definitely want to visit some other time. Now we know where it is. All along Dania Beach, they have all these spots where you can picnic, barbecue, go fishing, or just have a party. Pretty cool. Ooh, found parking. Let's stretch our legs. There is uh, this big storm lurking on the western horizon. I told you it was gonna rain. So it looks like uh, we are not going to be able to see the sunset today. We walk by this private mansion here, pretty cool. Yay, party time! 
Let's check out Dania Beach, this portion also known as the Hollywood Duck Beach. There is uh, this kid flying a phantom drone. What a great idea. Maybe I'll bring the drone the next time I pass by here. This area is much more quieter than a couple of miles south of here at the Hollywood Beach. I just love to watch the elegant flight of the pelican, how it glides through the air, stalking its underwater prey. Oh, I think it spotted a fish, going for the kill, and boom, it missed. Okay, let's get out of here. It is almost night time and it is going to rain soon. Raindrops keep falling on my windshield. Anyways. We wanted to start a fire, but I guess that's out of the question now. We end the night at this German restaurant in Fort Lauderdale called Old Heidelberg. And just like that, our weekend escapade comes to an end. Well, that's all folks, uh, do remember to subscribe if you haven't, and if you liked it, uh, well, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I am also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and even Snapchat, so follow me there too if you will. I am now Traveling Robert in all of the social networks, and you can also visit the blog at TravelingRobert.com, join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding. Riding with my RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free in my RV